welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to be going over a pretty decent sized box here. It is most likely my uh, Chucky doll that came in uh, based on Mezco's version. Uh, even though they're not 100% accurate, this is still a very cool looking doll. I have literally been waiting almost three months for this thing to come in. And it finally came in today. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull it out of the box. We're going to check out the box art. Then we're going to get into the doll, okay? So I shall be right back. Okay, we're back, and it's quite obvious it is my Chucky doll, okay? This is actually from the Bride of Chucky, even though it says Chucky on the box. But it is based off of the movie, The Bride of Chucky, simply because in part three is where he goes towards the end. He's, he's in the, um, I believe it's the circus or something like that, but anyway... He ends up falling into the fan, and he's cut up into little pieces, and it ends up um, being the end of the movie. But in the next movie, they somehow demonize him and slap him back together again, and that is what you're seeing here right now. So this is definitely based off of The Bride of Chucky. On Big Bad Toy Story, it does say it is from The Bride of Chucky. And for some reason, it just says Chucky. It doesn't say The Bride of Chucky. I think it's for copyright reasons that they just leave it at Chucky, but who's complaining, okay? Now the main thing for this here is the actual box. I am going to use the box. I'm going to lean it up against the uh, shelf along with Chucky, you know, sitting on top of the box or standing on top of the box. That's why I want to carefully preserve the box in itself. But you get a good idea of what the box looks like. It's got some very unique box art going on here, especially in the window. We will check out the sound effects of this uh, Chucky too as well. And obviously we're going to check out the doll. All right? But let's get a real close up look of this particular box art. And then we'll get into that actually taking it out of the box. So let's go ahead and shut that down. Alright now. Okay. So with this in mind we're going to go ahead and change things around a little bit. And I'll be right back here. So hang on guys. Okay, we're back. Now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of look at the box art a little bit. This way I can see what I ain't doing here. Right, obviously it says Chucky, he, he wants you for a best friend. And that's the main thing. He's going to be your best friend, okay? But anyway, we're going to look at the box art here. I love the way the, uh, the actual blood drips off the side here. I can talk, which you will hear pretty soon here. But that's what he looks like if you can actually see it. Let me pull back a little bit. Now I can see what I need doing here. As you can see, he's all ripped apart when he uh, actually fell into the fan in uh, the third movie. But even though this just uh, says Chucky, it's actually based off of the Bride of Chucky. And as you can see towards the bottom here, age is 15 and up. So if you're younger than 15, my suggestion is not to play with Chucky, okay? <laughs> I'm just messing around. It's just an age limit. Okay, and that's what he looks like. We'll get a really close look of what uh, the actual doll looks like. I, like I said, been looking forward to this thing for almost three months. Now I'm not going to read the actual writing on the back, so what I'll do is I kind of leave it there, and you can probably pause the video if you, you know, want to read it and stuff like that, and then you can actually see the hole where you can actually stick your finger in it, and it does uh, play sounds hear actual phrases from the movies, okay? So what we're going to do is kind of, let's see if I can actually hit it. The true classic never goes out of style. Okay, that's just the start, okay? We'll get it out of the box and let you hear all the phrases. That's very cool on this side here. All the way down, all Chucky. Now the box in itself, I'm going to use it. I'm going to try to sit, uh, stand Chucky on top of it. I leaned it up against the shelf, like I said. But anyway, that's what she looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut it down again and pull it out of its box. So I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. And the battery ran down on me as I was doing the video. So obviously I had to plug it in. There's something about these batteries for these camcorders. They don't last but maybe about an hour and a half. And they go out at the most inconvenient times, okay? But anyway, long story short, we'll get into the actual dot here in a second. But I want to show you the directions that come with this particular uh, package. What's that? What's that noise? But anyway, so I'll show you what it is. It does come inside the box itself. 
it shows you what's on the back and it shows you the actual uh, voice modulator I guess they would call it, the voice changer or voice something um, shows you the switch as you can see it's usually switched off when you do it and it only allows you three different phrases but when you switch it on you get seven different phrases which we will touch base on here in a second but it does come with these three uh, different type of batteries they are L1154F type button batteries or they call them cell batteries okay but anyway it comes with three of those They're more like watch batteries you can get them at Walmart and stuff uh, you'll need three of them in case your batteries do run dead that's where you want to get them okay but anyway this is the directions to the back of the uh, doll okay enough about that let's talk about the doll but first let's get into the knife now this knife as you can see is quite wide now when I actually try to put it on his hand it won't go this way because the thumb is not fully posable or bendable so I have to put it in this way and most people when they show you on YouTube uh, with their versions of the doll uh, they have to do the same thing so but it is what it is anyway this knife here it is serrated as you can see I think that's pretty cool okay, he's got a big fat handle he slices and dices okay so we will put him in a little bit later on the knife let's look at Chucky now unfortunately Chucky's huge and I don't have my other tall tripod so I'm gonna show you him on his side a little bit and eventually I'll pull it back and show you otherwise but I gotta show you the face and everything show you the details from the side it's very cool looking as you can see he's got a wicked smile too All right. He was looking at you kid you can see the heavy scarring now for some reason his head must be made of metal or he fell into something that kind of um, metaled his ass or something I don't know what it is uh, I wasn't under the impression unless it's these old school dolls that they put some kind of a metal underneath and then they coat them with rubber I don't know I don't know where he got this from but anyway long story short um, it's most likely some of the uh, metal from the fan or something. I don't know. But they fused him back together. And he apparently has some staples in his head. Staples in his head. Okay. Alright. Okay, hang on for a second here. Now, Trick or Treat Studios has a full-size good guy doll. Along with some other variations from the movies. Those are like six, $700. Not paying six hundred dollars for a doll. Okay, unless you're well off money wise, then I can see you investing. If you're into Chucky and stuff, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you can't afford that, that's not a smart purchase. Okay, unless you absolutely need it and you're willing to spend that kind of money, then go for it. He's got these little red buttons on it. Okay, the clothes for the most part is tattered and torn from when you hit the fan and stuff. All right. But he didn't manage to survive it after getting voodooed, or hoodooed, or whatever you want to call it, and he got put back together and stuff. The shoes are pretty cool, too. Now on the bottom of it. I've been looking forward to this bad boy for about three months, ever since I put it on pre-order. I took it off because it was expensive and I said ah, I'll hold off and wait later and then I came into some money I said guess what I'm gonna get it <laughs> so I did okay now pulling the sleeves up on this thing here as you can see the articulation it is a doll literally a doll it's not like a NECA figure or anything like that but it does have articulation to it especially in the elbows okay. I don't know if you can see it yeah but anyway, the elbows, as you can see. All right. In the back, um, you got to just pull this stuff out of the way in order to get to the switch, which, which we are going to do right here. But first, let's just check out some of the sound effects. Are you ready, guys? <laughs> A true classic never goes out of style. 
Absolutely. And that's Brad Dariff. So they did a really good representation. And obviously, we got his voice in this, which is really cool. <laughs> a true classic never goes out of style. Okay, so what we're going to do here, pull him out of the way. <laughs> All right. And show you the switch. All right, now you see it? There's a the switch. We're going to go ahead and switch that on by lift, turning it up now. Tuck you back in. Okay, now. Ready? Or did I shut that off? Hang on. Wow. Okay, hang on. I'll be right back guys. I gotta check something out here. Okay, we're back. Now apparently when I was switched it, uh, it's got a three uh, trigger system to it. If you click it towards the center, it shuts it off. But if you click it all the way up, which is two clicks, then you're gonna get your seven sounds, which you're gonna hear right now, okay? Now the first thing we gotta do is get me out of this body once and for all. Let's turn this around so you can actually see them. Okay, let me adjust the camera a little bit here guys. Keep that plugged in. All right. Okay, now let's do that again. A true classic never goes out of style. Oh, we know that. Get off my knife. <laughs> I'll be back. I always come back. That's cool right there. <laughs> this is a very cool doll guys there are other different versions of Mezco's uh, dolls I'm going to try to get a couple of more a couple of more I'm going to try to get a few more okay and show you those when those eventually come in but it'll take some time before I can get those because they're $100 a piece hi hi Jackie you want to play hi Jackie now the first thing we got to do is get me out of this body once and for all We're going to go around again. Get off my knife. I'll be back. I always come back. I don't have a problem with killing. I like a little killing now and then. What's wrong with that? There ain't nothing wrong with that. Just go ahead and slice and dice, okay? Well, anyway, let me go ahead and shut him off. Now, one thing I noticed about the shirt in itself, it does have snaps. So you can snap the shirt back in, in case it does pop out. Alright. So what we're going to do, is you can see the switch right here. It does have a three. Now I just click that down once. And my refrigerator is making all kinds of noises. Alright, so now. Let's hit the button again. Alright, we're good. Okay. Alright, we're done with that part. So let's give you a, a close-up shot. Of the rest of Chucky here. All right. Now we know the body here has been tattered and torn because he fell into the fan in part three. Okay. But the actual color scheme is very cool. The head does move. Okay. Okay. It does move. Okay. The arms. They do move up and down. Just like a typical uh, doll, as you can see. Now, there was this one Australian YouTuber who actually bought one of these. He turned around and ripped it apart and changed the arms and everything so it was more mobile. And he had it posing outside of this box here. All right, He literally had Chucky blasting out of the window of that thing. It was very cool the way he did that. But it's a lot of work. Okay, but anyway. I finally got my first Mezco figure based on Chucky, okay? Now the hair in this thing here, as you can see, 
Okay, I will tell you this, you're going to have to fluff it out, you know, give it that traditional chucky look, because when you first get this, it is flat as a cardboard. It's like totally paste it to the head. you got to kind of fluff it out a little bit. All right. All right. And that's what he looks like right there. All right. Now I'm going to put him on the turntable and give you a little update on what's going on for the future of this channel. Okay. Now, because he's so big, I got to push him all the way back. Okay. Oh, but wait a minute. One more thing. Before we do that, let's put the knife in. Like I said about the knife, you can't put it in sideways like this. Oops, get back up here. Okay, because it won't fit. Okay, because the, the hand in itself is not pliable. It's a very hard plastic. So, you literally got to squeeze it in between the thumb, just like that. Okay, and that's how that goes, right? just like that. Which serves its purpose. It looks cool for the most part. Okay. Anyway, put him back up on the turntable. Turn it on. Okay. That is my Chucky. From the Bride of Chucky. I've been waiting three months for this bad boy. It's roughly around... I'm not sure how tall they said it was. It looks like it's about 12 inches. The actual good guy doll is literally almost like 3 feet. Okay, that's a pretty big doll compared to this one here. But for $100 plus with sound effects and the way it looks, I think it's worth it for the most part. The other one, obviously, not so much because they're basing that off of their own profits uh, based on the popularity of people wanting these things. So what they do is they jack those prices up and force people to buy them at that ridiculous price, okay? But anyway, this is my Chucky, okay? Now, the updates for this channel, okay? I will tell you this. I've got a few more things coming in. All right. There we go. Let me pull that back a bit. Yeah. Um, I do have the Alvira NECA figure supposedly coming in. Uh, they'll let me know when it does when their shipments uh, come in. They'll let me know and they'll ship it out. I also have uh, Universal Studios, the Mummy, uh, that's expected to come in, as well as the Wolfman from the Universal Studios, because I got the Frankenstein monster, so I might as well get all the rest of these other ones. What surprises me is they don't have a Dracula. Okay, I don't know why they don't make a, a NECA version of Dracula, but I want to get one of those when it does eventually, if they ever do make one. I'm definitely going to get my hands on one of those, okay? And I also have Elvira, Wolfman, the Mummy, and I think that's it on the NECA figures because I already got my Michael Myers. The one thing I just ordered today, it's a pre-order, is an actual Jason Voorhees mask from Part 3. What it is, it actually lights up, okay? It has a USB connection. You can plug it into your computer, and you can light it up that way. Or you can install three, I think they said double A batteries or triple A batteries. And the mask in itself is supposed to light up, so I've got that coming in. I'm looking forward to that because I've got a whole wall full of Jason masks. Now, according to uh, the YouTuber, Big Hush, who takes plain... Um, blanks based on Jason Voorhees mask and he creates some very very cool masks I went ahead and did that a, um, a while back and I got some uh, a few of them hanging up on my wall I got two of them that represent pumpkins in a way uh, they're very cool they came out pretty good from for the most part and I did another one okay which is traditional to one of the originals except it's dirty version uh, but outside of that I stopped doing that for a while uh, but it is what it is. Like I said, I got that mask coming in. I'm very curious to see how it lights up. And I'm going to hang it up on the wall and stuff like that. So I'm looking forward to that, okay? That is what so far is happening for Pumpkin Horror. And when it comes to the updates on doing figure and toy reviews. Outside of that, I've got to think of something else to do for this channel. Um, pretty much, I don't know what to do yet. I might delve into witchcraft. And... 
you know, do some crazy stuff based on that because I've got a bunch of stuff on witchcraft. I've got a Ouija board, and I've got smudge sticks, uh, I've got a pest and mortal, or a pest and mortar, the pestle and mortar, that's how you pronounce that, okay? And a bunch of other stuff based on witchcraft, I might, you know, delve into that. I've got some pagan prayer beads. Uh, we're going to touch base on all that stuff. It'll give me something to do, uh, just to keep the channel alive. But outside of that, I think that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, I've been watching Supernatural for a while. This is my fourth time around watching all 15 seasons of it, okay? Uh, but I do like to show it. I just, there's something about Supernatural or anything horror related. It, they're my all-time favorite uh, genre, okay? So I'm watching that for the fourth time. I'm now getting into uh, Star Trek Discovery because I've been wanting to watch uh, Star Trek for a while. But it was on Paramount. So now I'm starting to watch those again. And it's okay right now. I mean, it hasn't really gotten super exciting yet. But it's starting to pick up. Okay, I just started watching season one. So I don't know what else is going to happen. So I got that going. And lately I've been watching these... Um, Netflix uh, TV series based on people that actually kill people and they tell their story and stuff. I think that's pretty interesting too. Okay, but outside of that, I think that's pretty much it in a nutshell for Pumpkin Horror. Hope you guys enjoyed this doll. This is based on The Bride of Chucky. Okay, it's actually the fourth movie, and that's where the we had the introduction to Tiffany. Obviously, the seat of Chucky has got little freak boy there. I can't remember his name, but. But it's, they're very cool movies, don't get me wrong, okay? I'm not criticizing them. But um, The Bride of Chucky is when they actually uh, uh, pass some kind of spell on him after they put him together. And he comes back to life and stuff, and he's with Tiffany. There's some cool one-liners in that movie. Very cool, okay? But anyway, this is my Bride of Chucky from Mezco. So if you guys ever wanted to order one of these, they are up there in price, okay? This one, including shipping and handling and taxes, was about $109. So it is over $100 for this thing. But as far as I'm concerned, it's worth it. Uh, there are a few others that I might get in the future. But like I said, that's down the line. Okay, because like I said, they're $100 a pop. Okay. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. As eventually, I will be creating some new videos here, guys. In the meantime, you have yourselves a good day, and I hope you enjoyed this. Okay.